square root of x squared plus square root of negative x squared equal to 1. We want to find all possible values of x. So let's rewrite it. Square root of x squared plus square root of negative x squared equal to 1. We subtract square root of x squared from both sides. Then we can say square root of negative x squared equal to 1 minus square root of x squared. Then we raise both sides to the power of 2. And we can see that left hand side will be negative x squared, this part. Right hand side will be 1 minus square root of x squared, which squared which we can use formula or we can write it as this 1 minus square root of x squared times 1 minus square root of x squared in next step we can say negative x squared equal to 1 times 1 is 1 so we write 1 1 times this negative square root of x squared this one negative square root of x squared will be negative 2 times square root of x squared. This times this will be plus x squared. Okay, now in this step, let me tell you to take the elements in what place. We take this to left hand side, we take this to right hand side. 2 x squared equal to 1 plus x squared. When we take this to right hand side, the sign will change. So x squared, it will be 1 plus 2x squared. In next step, again, we uh, raise both sides to the power of 2. Left hand side will be 4x squared. Right hand side will be 1 plus 2x squared squared. And it will be 1 plus 2x squared times 1 plus 2x squared. We can say left hand side 4x squared, right hand side is 1 times 1 will be 1 plus 2x squared, 2x squared times 1 will be plus 4x squared, 2x squared times 2x squared will be 4x to the 4. Now we take all things to right hand side. 0 equal to. Um, we can subtract 4x squared from both sides. So we reach that 1 plus 4x the 4 equal to 0. 1 plus 4x to the 4. Then we take Mm, we can say 4x to the 4 if we take 1 to the other side other side other side is negative 1 so x to the 4 is negative 1 if we divide both sides by 4 x to the 4 is negative 1 to the 4 over 4 now we find x squared first then x so x squared will be plus minus square root of negative 1 over 4 so it will be plus minus square root of negative 1 over 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. And we know that by definition in complex numbers we call i equal to root negative 1. So it will be plus minus i over 2. In next step we want to find x. So x will be plus minus. Okay so. It will be square root of plus minus i over 2. Now we want to find, we want to simplify this answer. So let's write x equal to, let's write it here, plus minus, then square root of plus minus i over 2. Square root of plus minus i over 2. So for this part, we need to know square root of i is what, square root of negative i is what. So if you want to find the square root of i is what, we say, oh, suppose the square root of i is a plus bi. Then if we raise to the power of 2, 
left side will be i, right side will be a plus b i squared, which is a plus b i times a plus b i n. Because i is a root negative 1, so i squared is negative 1. So a times a a squared, b i times b i negative b squared. So it will be a squared minus b squared plus a times b i a b i, a times b i a b i plus 2 a b i. Now, if we consider i equal to this number, we can say real part equal to each other. So a squared minus b squared real part equal to 0. Imaginary part 1 equal to 2ab. From this part, a squared equal to b squared, and ab are real numbers. Then absolute value of a equal to absolute value of b. Because ab is positive, we can consider both of them have same sign. So we can say a equal to b is not equal to negative b. And from this part, you conclude a b equal to 1 half. So by this, considering these two things, a equal b equal to plus, both of them equal to plus 1 over root 2, or both of them equal to negative 1 over root 2. Now, Let's consider square root of negative i. If we want to solve this, we can say it is equal to negative 1 times i. From neg root negative 1 is i, root i, we found this is what? a, b equal to, so the first case. Uh, if we factor from a is because we know root i is this, a equal to 1 over root 2 b equal to 1 over root 2i or it is equal to negative 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2i in first part it is uh, so let's calculate this first i times i negative 1 so it is negative 1 over root 2 plus i root over root 2 in this part it will be 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2 Okay, so let's see all the answers. So x, the first answer, x equal to, let's write all of them, plus minus square root of plus minus i over 2. We said square root of i equal to, for this part, 1 over root 2 for a and b. So it will be. 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 and square root of negative i and here negative 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2 in previous case for the root negative i negative 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 and also other things so negative 1 over root 2 plus i over root 2 and 1 over root 2 minus i over root 2. Okay. Now the answer. Let's write all of them. So plus minus at first. Let's calculate plus square root of i over 2. It will be what? Or let's consider plus minus. Because we consider plus minus square root of i over root 2. We divide these things by root 2. So it will be what? 1 over 2 plus i over 2, the first answer, and negative 1 over 2 minus i over 2. Plus minus minus i over 2. So it will be negative 1 over 2 plus i over 2, and 1 over 2 minus i over 2. So we found four answers. So if you had question, uh, send message my WhatsApp number, or if you want to learn important ideas in geometry, combinatorics, algebra, geometry, calculus, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.